Ah. Oh, we need the music. Oh, we're gonna have subtitles, because... Yes, I know. Welcome back. I am finally with hands after years of waiting. I've just probably been either severely depressed or whatever the fuck mental illness is where you have no motivation to do streaming. Almost anything, really. But I'm back. And happy. Let's have your teeny. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You see here. After you should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Good. Now please return to your bed. Good morning. You have been in suspension for Nine, 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 Hello? Anyone in there? The enrichments. Ha! Ah! God, God, you look te um, good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? How are you? Well, don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it slow. Please prepare. All right, never mind. Those are way too fucking big. You're just gonna have for to emergency listen. evacuation. Stay calm, stay, stay calm, prepare. It's all the same, prepare. Or it's all fine. All right, don't move. I'm gonna get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice, up to you. It is a moon. You all right down there? Can you hear me? Hello? Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case very of minor serious case brain damage. Of serious but brain don't damage. be alarmed, all right? Uh, although, if you, do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me, just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You're still holding on? The reserve power ran out. So, of course, the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And, of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed, you know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of? Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? But not enough space. Uh, just, just got to get through here. Okay, I just got to concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? All right, see, now I hear that one. I hear that one. I 
Okay, listen, joke, we should get our story like straight, all right? Idea. If anyone asks, and no one's gonna ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, all right? Not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're gonna need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Good news, that is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm gonna attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes, but don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Well, there I am. Just get a look at the face, actually, this time. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing caused this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. You have just passed through an Aperture Science Material Emancipation Drill, which vaporizes most Aperture Science equipment that touches it. Most. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your tablets. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Why is this menu? I remember when it was automatic. Back in my day, it used to be automatic. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. Thank you. We love loading screens. Don't we? If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to reason. Animal King Delgraver. Hey, hey! You made it! There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. See the portal gun. Also, are you alive? If that's important, should have asked that first. I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. I'll wait. I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. All right? Brilliant. Go team. See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not dead. By the way, I can't change the fog, so don't even think about it. Actually, hold on. I don't know. Ah, oh, kill.
Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots to share. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. I couldn't just load it into one thing. The cool it is is a couple of boys flying. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Uh, I see what they did there. Sneaky buggers. in the back until now. You know, Animal King take over. Evacuation. What are we playing, Bowling? Every elevator is a goddamn loading screen. Who says I want to watch loading screen? If the enrichment center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. I ain't gonna stop it. Probably learn how to bee hop in here. Well done. The enrichment center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All aperture science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic low power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. Yay! Yeah. Bah. Please remain calm. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you.
Please stop. No one likes a baby down. Let's go, Mr. Cube. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future. And the future starts with you. Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple-minded, bold, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. Nah, yeah, the fact if he finishes the speech. Well, the characters don't do that if you speed run. To ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Hey! Oi, oi! I'm up here! Uh, I'm trying to fucking bee jump, alright? Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun! Oh, the... Do you know what? It just goes to show, people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Pop a portal on that wall behind me there, and I'll meet you on the other side of the room. There. Okay, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail, or I would die. But we're out of options here, so get ready to catch me. All right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? One. Two. Three! That's high. It's, w it's too high, isn't it, really, that? All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? One. Catch me! Ow! Ow. I am not dead. I'm not dead! <laughs> Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. Um, yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Can you just turn around for a second? I can't, I can't do it if you're watching. <laughs> All right, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel. Not open. While your back was turned. And off we go. Look at this! Hey, hey, no metal to tell us where to go. Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Just oh, I can't on the drop him. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um, just follow the rail, actually. Oh, no. Yes, hello. No, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact, whatever you do. No, thanks, we're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving, keep moving.
why is there a loading screen? Headphones too, for the love of God, stop. Probably ought to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber. And she will probably kill us if, if she's um, awake. Okay, I'm going to lay my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't, don't go in there. She, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up, uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not going to believe this. A human. I know. I know. I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now, so um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. Don't touch it. Okay, down these stairs. Jump! This action. Ah! Oh, still held. Still being held. You did, that's a great job. You've applied the grit. We're all fine. That's tremendous. Ah! I just, sorry, I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah! Oh, I've just done it again. I wish I could kill you. This is the main breaker room. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod. But as soon as you look at something and it doesn't say escape pod, look at something else. Look at the next thing, all right? But don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand. Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. It's going up his ass. Let there be light. That's, uh, God. It's quoting God. Oh, look at that! It's turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now. Escape pod, escape pod. It's, it's moving up. Okay. Okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, makes it go faster. Uh-oh. Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic! Alright, stop panicking. Uh, I can, I can still stop this. Um, uh, oh, there's a, there's a password. Okay, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just hack it. Not a problem. A, 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 um, A, 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 Wait, did I do beat the jar pen? Start writing these down. Power up, complete. I don't, okay, 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 listen. All right, new plan. Act natural, act natural, we've done nothing wrong. Hello? Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? Ah! Oh no! No, 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 no! Oh no, 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 no! Ah. Okay, look. We both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For science. You monster. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it, too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. You monster. <laughs> one small thing. Oh, uh, Portal 2 is a lot more Here we are, the incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing. I Just like old times. I have an idea. I can save him. No. Everyone ready? We must here we save are. him. The incinerator room. 
Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old times. No! There it is. Hold on. There. Good. You have a dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Here, let me get that for you. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life were preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. I'll just move that out of the way for you. This place really is a wreck. But the important thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing. For the rest of your life. After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. Reanimating the dead, maybe. Yeah, that's that sounds like a great hobby, GLaDOS. Yeah. You got it. You you can do this, girl. Go get him. Go reincarnate people. Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should I'm pace scared. yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. I'm just scared. I really want to hear the music again. That's all I can hear in my head right now. This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. Well done. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. 
Uh, I know you're salty, Gladys. It's okay. I know you're mad and all, but come on. Don't man. let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. adopted Congratulations not on the test most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. <laughs> How many pounds? Two, five, ten. <laughs> One moment. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. Yeah, the toxic ooze is still here. Give you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Waddle over to the elevator and we'll continue the testing. Waddle, waddle, waddle. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faithplate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. That's not how... Uh, the ox carbon and oxygen cycle works. Sorry, Gladys, but that's not how that works. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faith plates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass. By myself. By myself. I can help you if you want.
see. They still have that stupid fucking. No, they don't. It's just a loading screen. Yes. Are you Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faith plates. Well, I have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers. So sometimes there's still trash in them. Standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. The fear. You don't have to test with the garbage. It's garbage. Press the button again. Audio drive. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was Free. actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. <laughs> Thank you, Gladys. I love being called garbage. Who doesn't like being called garbage? Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? I'm sorry, I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. Oh, did I accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test? I'm sorry. Go ahead and grab another one. No, I fizzled that one too. Oh well, we have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. No. Ready, Mr. Q.
Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. I think that one was about to say, I love you. They are sentient, of course. We just have a lot of them. I thought they weren't sentient. This next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. The turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. There. If you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. My companion cues. Why? God, why? The aerial faith plate in here is sending a distress signal. You broke it, didn't you? There. Try it now. What happened, right? I was just lying there. You thought I was done. Hmm. This plate must not be calibrated to someone of your generousness. I'll add a few zeros to the maximum weight. You look great, by the way. Very healthy. Try it now. Right? Couldn't believe it either. You seem to have defeated its load-bearing capacity. Well done. I'll just lower the ceiling. Probably get up there. If I tried hard enough. Listen fit, motherfucker.
Uh, Try this again, my brain capacity is less than zero. That's not how these things work. Look at you, sailing through the air majestically, like an eagle, piloting a blimp. Piloting a blimp. Aw, oh, thank you for telling me I'm fat again, because, you know, we already knew that. Enjoy this next test. I'm going to go to the surface. It's a beautiful day out. Yesterday I saw a deer. If you solve this next test, maybe I'll let you ride an elevator all the way up to the break room. And I'll tell you about the time I saw a deer again. I love deer. Deer is my favorite animal. Spinny cube. Help, I'm stuck. Oh, nice, thank you, GLaDOS. Well, you passed the test. I didn't see the deer today. I did see some humans. But with you here, I've got more test subjects than I'll ever need. Yeah. I am the best.
Yay, we get bridges now. These bridges are made from natural light that I pump in from the surface. If you rubbed your cheek on one, it would be like standing outside with the sun shining on your face. It would also set your hair on fire, so don't actually do it. Set your hair on fire, so please don't actually fuck it. You know, I can just do this and fall to my death. This shows you that my average intelligence is below zero. Because I thought I had the right portal to fucking just boop and fall onto the light. So, I thought that out. These bridges are made from natural light that I pump in from the surface. If you rubbed your cheek on one, it would be like standing outside with the sun shining on your face. It would also set your hair on fire, so don't actually do it. Did I just cheese it? I know I could just do this. That's not fun. You know? Excellent. Ooh, you are a predator, die. and these tests are your prey. Speaking of which, I was researching sharks for an upcoming test. Do you know who else murders people who are only trying to help them? Did you guess sharks? Because that's wrong. The correct answer is nobody. Nobody but you is that pointlessly cruel. I mean, you didn't try to kill me. With cake. So. You know, you kind of advert false advertised me cake with, uh... Dash of Good news. fire. I figured out what to do with all the money I save recycling your one room full of air. When you die, I'm going to laminate your skeleton and pose you in the lobby. That way future generations can learn from you how not to have your unfortunate bone structure. Perfect. The door's malfunctioning. I guess somebody's going to have to repair that too. No, don't get up. I'll be right back. Don't touch anything. Hey! Up here! I found some bird eggs up here. Just dropped them into the door mechanism. Shut it right down. I- Ah! Bird! 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 Okay. That's probably the bird in it that laid the eggs. Livid. Okay, look, the point is, we're gonna break out of here, alright? Very soon, I promise, I promise. I just have to figure out how to break us out of here. Here she comes! Keep te- Just keep testing! Remember, you never saw me. Never saw me. I went and spoke with the door mainframe. Let's just say he won't be, well, living anymore. Anyway, back to testing. That's not homicidal. 
Have you ever been such a fucking idiot that you break? Blue portal. Well done. In fact, you did so well. I'm going to note this on your file in the commendation section. Oh, there's lots of room here. Did well. Enough. I love GLaDOS's passive aggressiveness. It's so fun, you know? You're being yelled at by a fucking robot later, you know? Channel still works great and close. This next test involves turrets. You remember them, right? They're the pale spherical things that are full of bullets. Oh wait, that's you in five seconds. Good luck. He's flying. Are you still there? Sleep mode activated. Hey. Target lost. Put me down. Are you Please still there? Me down. Searching. Hi. There Ow. you are. Target lost. There you are. Good night. Target lost. Sentry mode activated. Kill him. That is my least favorite thing to do. My main goal is not to kill a single turret. <laughs> if I don't kill a single one, I'd be happy. That's my goal. Not to kill any turrets. Whenever wakes up, he's a friend. Hmm. I get a second chance, I guess. Second chance to be a hero. Activated. 
Put me down. There you are. Are you still there? Well, I tried putting you on. Please put me down. Searching. Target lost. Hibernating. Spared me. I like sparing them. Because they're just... They're just doing their job, alright? They're good workers. To maintain a constant testing cycle, I simulate daylight at all hours and add adrenal vapor to your oxygen supply. So you may be confused about the passage of time. The point is, yesterday was your birthday. I thought you'd want to know. You know how I'm going to live forever, but you're going to be dead in 60 years? Well, I've been working on a belated birthday present for you. Well, more of a belated birthday medical procedure. Well, technically, it's a medical experiment. What's important is it's a present. It's a present. What is it? Made entirely of ground-up moon rocks. Now that ain't good for the lungs, but... When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. That jumpsuit you're wearing looks stupid. That's not me talking. It's right here in your file. On other people it looks fine. But right here a scientist has noted that on you it looks stupid. Well, what does a neck-bearded old engineer know about fashion? He probably... Oh, wait. It's a she. Still, what does she know? Oh wait, it says she has a medical degree. In fashion, from France. 
Oh la la. Ah! Oui, voilà. Goodbye. Activated. Are you still there? Oh. Target lost. No, I could not live with myself. you guys i'll get to let you live because I, I my main goal is to kill as little turrets as possible especially as you know you saw yeah you know, so i don't kill yes i will here you go are you still there I see you. I have the brain capacity of a rutabaga. Alright, when you had the brain capacity of uh, a rutabaga, you ain't gonna do much. Uh oh. Don't worry. Friends, target lost. Who are you? See, you're all friends. We're all friends. Searching. Why can't we? I will get copyright. I forgot YouTube has stupid decisions. Game makers don't even know how to fucking make games properly. Am I gonna ruin the glass? Would you rather be alone in the corner, or would you like to be with your friends? See, if I wanted to play it the normal way, I wouldn't be fucking... Please put me down. 
I don't know how to be hop, okay? We've already got one Cabby Reach fucking claim on me YouTube video. Oh, it's odd. This YouTube has stupid to show. Uh, game creators don't know how to make copyright free music. I'm going through the list of test subjects in cryogenic storage. I managed to find two with your last name a man and a woman. So that's interesting. It's a small world. Small world. I have a surprise waiting for you after this next test. Tell I me love this game. The They're surprise. so cool. So I'll just give you a hint. Blue. It involves meeting camo. Two people you haven't seen in yeah, a long blue. time. Yeah, blue. But they're also changing colors. Whoa. Two people I haven't seen in a very, very... There's a fucking terrorist in the vents. Target lost. Searching. Motherfucker. No. Stardust, you sick fucker.
It says this next test was designed by one of Aperture's Nobel Prize winners. It doesn't say what the prize was for. Well, I know it wasn't for being immune to neurotoxin. You ain't even hiding it no more. I bet you think I forgot about your surprise. I didn't. In fact, we're headed to your surprise right now. After all these years, I'm getting choked up just thinking about it. The cake's still there. I think it's still moldy. <laughs> really, really moldy. Like it's turned into a tree moldy. Initiating surprise in three, two, two one. one. I made it all up. Surprise. Oh, come on. If it makes you feel any better, they abandoned you at birth. So I very seriously doubt they'd even want to see you. Also, by the way, the turret in the vent was a homage, homage to the, uh, you can find singing turrets in the, uh, first game. It was a little easter egg, you know. You can target me for a whole I started in a row. You sick fuck. How many times we gotta go over this, GLaDOS? I don't want to kill him! You keep making me. And you're pissing me off. Bye! Savior! Okay. I fixed it up there, but uh, I can fix it again another way. Wait, I have cubes! Cubes are my friends, not food. Hey, hey, what are you here? And then we just block, block, add the laser. Right there, that's you. And hop up, and block the shot. But. Save you. I have. Lightning. 
shot, okay? But I know that's your job. feel awful about that surprise. Tell you what, let's give your parents a call right now. No. The turret must live. I fucked it up. I'm the idiot, not the turret. Should have been me. I feel awful about that surprise. Tell you what, let's give your parents a call right now. Okay, that wasn't even <laughs> We do not want chill back. <laughs> blah blah blah. Blah 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 blah. I probably could have kept him alive. I feel awful about that surprise. Tell you what, let's give your parents a call right now. The birth parents you are trying to reach do not love you. Please hang up. Oh, that's sad. But impressive. Maybe they worked at the phone company. You're mean, Jelly. Hey, how's it going? 
I talked my way onto the old nanobot work crew rebuilding this shaft. They are really small. So, oh. I know, Jerry. No, I'm on a break, mate. On a break. And Ow! Just hang in there for five more. What, Jerry? You can't fire me for that. Yes, Jerry. Or maybe your prejudiced work site should have accommodated a nanobot of my size. Thanks for the hate crime, Jer. See you in court, mate. Anyway, look, just hang in there for, for five more chambers. Five more? I could never do that, huh? Man, the fact that people would know this game... Well, you know the old formula. Comedy equals tragedy plus time. And you have been asleep for a while. So I guess it's actually pretty funny when you do the math. <laughs> I smell my murder afoot. Right, what are we doing? <laughs> Precautions are set place just in case I'm an idiot. I know, I'm a fucking idiot.
I was just turned into Swiss cheese. Uh, anyone want Swiss human? I left one alive. Maybe it will work. I don't know if GLaDOS is on me, who doesn't really care about them, so we'll figure it out. You get to watch over the text. Have fun. Searching. I, know that I'm I thought about our dilemma, and I came up with a solution that I honestly think works out best for one of both of us. Why did you get out of this? I need to know what the dilemma is. What we got to live with is I'm the murderer, you're the mur victim. And you can't really have that going on. All. Federal regulations require me to warn you that this next test chamber is looking pretty good. That's right, the facility is completely operational again. Strike you with lasers. Maybe. You're one lucky fucking camera. What are you doing? Ah, I see. Doing? What are you doing? So we have the middle one being there. Scheiße. I think these test chambers look even better than they did before. It was yeah. easy, really. You just have to look at things objectively, see what you don't need anymore, and trim out the fat. <laughs> fat joke. <laughs> I'm a man, I can laugh at them. It would be insulting if it was a woman. So, you know, that makes sense. I've got a surprise for you after this next test. Not a fake, tragic surprise like last time. A real surprise with tragic consequences. And real confetti this time. The good stuff. Our last bag. Part of me is going to miss it. But at the end of the day, it was just taking up space. Gladys, I know that voice. And I don't like that voice. That voice means bad things. Right? It was just... What's going on? Who turned off the lights? Hey, buddy! I'm speaking in an accent that is beyond her range of hearing. Look, Metal Ball, I can hear you. Run! I don't need to do the voice. Run! 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 Come on, I'm closing the door! Okay, we've been cut. That we are escaping. Alright, that's what's happening now. We're escaping. 
Uh, so you're doing great, just keep running. That's fine. Uh, quick word about the future plans that I've got in store. We're going to shut down your turret production line, all right? Turn off our neurotoxin and then confront it. The irony is you are almost at the last test. Here it is. Why don't you just do it? Trust me, it's an easier way out than whatever asinine plan your friend came up with. Oh, what? Wait, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, look. There's a deer. You probably can't see it. Get closer. I got a fucking achievement for doing it. <laughs> oh, look. There's a deer. I mean, I had to get all the... The irony somehow. is you were almost at the last test. Here it is. Why don't you just do it? Trust me, it's an easier way out than whatever asinine plan your friend came up with. Oh, what? How, how stupid does she... Oh! Come on, Oh, come on. Come on, come on! Spawns your turret portals. Your portals for some apparent reason. Yeah, I'll have a question. What if I. Ah, oh, brilliant! You made it through, well done. Okay, follow me. We've still got work to do. At least she can't touch us back here. Um, hmm, okay. Okay, d uh, don't move. Okay, alright, so, I've got an idea, but it is bloody dangerous. Here we go. Ah! Oh, for God's sake, they told me that if I ever turned this flashlight on, I would die. They told me that about everything. I mean, I, I don't even know why they bothered giving me this stuff if they didn't want me to use it. It's pointless. Mad. Start down here, isn't it? They say that the old caretaker of this place went absolutely crazy. Chopped up his entire staff of robots. All of them robots. They say at night you can still hear the screams of their replicas. All of them functionally indistinguishable from the originals. No memory of the incident. Nobody knows what they're screaming about. Absolutely terrifying. Though obviously not. Okay, this looks dangerous. I'll hold the light steady. Oh, nicely done.
Here's an interesting story. You might like this. I almost got a job down here in manufacturing, but uh, guess who the foreman went with? Only an exact duplicate of himself, nepotism, ended up giving me the worst possible job, tending to all the smelly humans that the, um, sorry, that's, uh, no, I wouldn't say like smelly. Just, just attending to the humans. Sorry about that, that just, that just slipped out. I'm being sensitive. Um, the smelly humans. Tell you, humans. Oh, love them. Just the way they look. It's great, and their folklore. Wonderful, very colourful. Right. Well, I'm going to take this rail down the back way. See you at the bottom. Good luck. Be careful. I have no idea. I saw a turret, I wanted to say hi, because he's probably one of the special turrets. Great, and they're your folklore, wonderful, and they're very colourful. Oh, right, well, I'm going to take this rail down the back way. See you at the bottom, good luck. Why? Why do we have loading screens around every corner? There's a little Easter egg around every corner. Why the fuck is there a loading screen? I mean, I prefer one screen for a little bit. Turret redemption lines active. Please do not engage with turrets heading towards redemption. Turret redemption lines are not rides. Please exit the turret redemption line.
Almost there. Ta da! Only the turret control center. Thank you very much. See that scanner right there, right? It's deciding which turrets to keep and which to toss. And it's using that master turret there as a template. Now, if, if we pull out the template turret, it'll shut down the whole production line. Right, um, hmm. I'm gonna have to hack the door so that we can get at it. Technical. Um, you'll need to turn around while I do this. Turn around! I'll only be a second. Done! Yeah. Okay, go on, just pull that turret out. Yeah, alright. Well, that should do it. Oh, brilliant! It's good. That's brilliant! New template, excellent. If we're lucky, she won't find out all her turrets are crap until it's too late. <laughs> Classic. Okay, keep your eye on the turret line. I'm gonna go and hack the door open. Okay, I'm about to start hacking. Response. It's a little bit more complicated than it looked from your side. It should take about 10 minutes. Template. Keep one eye on the door. Response. This door is actually pretty complicated. Ah! Oh, how long's the door been open? I mean, was there any sort of announcement before it opened? Like a, like a buzzer or an alarm of some kind? Or like a hacker alert? I mean, you know, fair enough, the important thing is it's open. But it's just, in, it's just mentioned in the future. Cough or something. All right, now, she can't use her turrets, so let's go and take care of that neurotoxin generator as well. Bring your daughter to work day. That did not end well. And 40 potato batteries. Embarrassing. I mean, I realise they're children, but still, you know, low-hanging fruit and all that. Barely science, really, is it? King Soda Volcano. Well, you know, at least it's not a potato battery, I'll give it that, but it's not terrifically original, is it? You know what I mean? Not exactly primary research, even within the child sciences. There's gels. Oh no, this is gels. Look at that, it's growing right up into the ceiling. The whole place is probably overrun with potatoes at this point, isn't it? At least you won't starve, though. Yeah. See, it's gel. I'm pretty sure we're going the right way, just to reassure you. Don't worry, I'm absolutely guaranteeing you 100% that it's this way. No, oh, it's not this way. Okay, let's try this way. Loading screen. I fucking hate Wheelie. Like, I love his character and all that stuff. Like, 
What I mean is, you know, I hate him as a character, you know? I hate him as, you know, like what you should, you're supposed to hate me, at least. Ha! I knew we were going the right way! This is the neurotoxin generator. Bit bigger than I expected. Uh, not going to be able to just, you know, push it over. Have to apply some cleverness. There's some sort of control room up at the top, so uh, let's go and investigate. <laughs> There's our handiwork. I shouldn't laugh, really. They do feel pain of a sort. It's all simulated, you know. But, uh, we need enough for them, I think. I'm afraid the door's locked. What are you doing? We don't know what that button. Oh, the door's locked. Well done. Let's see what's inside. Good news. I can use this equipment to shut down the neurotoxin system. It is, however, password protected. Ah, alarm bells. No, don't worry, all right? Not a problem for me. You may as well have a little rest, actually. Here we go. The hardest part of any hack is the figuring out how to start things. That's what we're trying to do. But, let the games begin. All right, what have we got? The computer. Not a surprise, to be expected. To be honest, check that off the list. Computer identified. Tick. There is a box part here. Some electronics. Yes, that will be important, I imagine. I'll keep my eye on that. In case something useful comes up. Important words like password. Toxic levels are going down! Hold on, something's wrong! Neurotoxic levels up to 50%! No, it's down. Sorry, my mistake is I meant to say it's down 50%. It's good news, carry on. It's still going down! It's still going to keep it up! Take us right to her. I can't believe I'm finally doing this. Woo! <laughs> I knew this would be fun. They told me it wasn't fun at all, so they said it's not fun at all. And I, I, I believed them. I don't know how to afford to myself. Oh, and I'm, I'm, lo I'm loving this. Way ahead of a time. This place is huge. And we're only seeing the top layer. It goes down for miles. All sealed off years ago, of course. We should be getting close. Oh, I can't wait to see the look on her face. No neurotoxin, no turret, she'll never know what hit her. <laughs> uh, hold on, hold on, because I, I, mm, I might not have thought this next part would be Ah! Well, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going the wrong way. Get to her, I'll find you. Loading screen. I mean, that's basically just a cutscene. <laughs> so. Yeah. Uh, Anna 
honestly, truly didn't think you'd fall for that. In fact, I devised a much more elaborate trap further ahead for when you got through this easy one. If I'd known you let yourself get captured this easily, I would have just dangled a turkey leg on a rope from the ceiling. Well, it was nice catching up. Let's get to business. I hope you brought something stronger than a portal gun this time. Otherwise, I'm afraid you're about to become the immediate past president of the Being Alive Club. Uh-huh. Seriously, though, goodbye. Oh, you were busy back there. Well, I suppose we could just sit in this room and glare at each other until somebody drops dead. But I have a better idea. It's your old friend, Deadly Neurotoxin. If I were you, I'd take a deep breath and hold it. Oh! Hello! I hate you so much. Warning, Central Core is 80% corrupt. That's funny. I don't feel corrupt. In fact, I feel pretty good. Alternate Core detected. Oh, that's me they're talking about! To initiate a Core transfer, please deposit Substitute Core in receptacle. Core transfer? Oh, you are kidding me. I've got an idea! Do what it says, plug me in! Do not plug that little idiot into my mainframe. No, you should plug that little idiot into the mainframe. Don't you dare plug him in. Plug me in, plug me in! Don't do it. Don't listen to her, do it. Do it. Oh, we're so close, plug me in. Don't plug him in. I want to be plugged in, please. Don't plug him in. All right, there you go. Come on, stop mucking around, plug me in. Don't do it. I got it. Right. Oh, what can we do with me then? I know, plug me into the port, please. Don't plug him in. Oh, that port looks comfy. Put it, put me on it, please. Don't do it. I want to be plugged in, please. Don't plug him in. Plug me in, plug me in. Don't do it. Don't listen to her, do it. Do it. Oh, that port looks comfy. Put it, put me on it, please. Don't do it. You like it up the air? Oh, we're so close. Plug me in. Don't plug him in. Okay, Come on, stop mucking around, plug me in. Don't do it. Oh, what Seriously. can we do with me then? I know. Plug me into the port, please. Don't plug him in. Come on, stop mucking around, plug me in. Don't do it. I don't want to push. I want to push you. I want to I be want plugged to in, it. please. Don't plug him in. And yeah, you also want to be fucked in the ass, I know. Oh, what can we do with me then? I know. Plug me into the port, please. Don't plug him in. Oh, that port to... looks comfy. What do you put me on it, please? Don't do it. Plug me in, plug me in! Don't do it. Don't listen to her, do it. Do it. Oh, we're so close! Plug me in! Don't plug him in. Oh, that port looks comfy. What do you put me on it, please? Don't do it. Oh, what can we do with me then? I know. Plug me into the port, please. Don't plug him in. Come on, stop mucking around, plug me in. Don't do it. I want to be plugged in, please. Don't plug him in. Plug me in, plug me in. Don't do it. Don't listen to her, do it. Do it. Substitute core accepted. Substitute core, are you ready to start the procedure? Yes. Corrupted core. Are you ready to start the procedure? No. Oh, yes, she is. No, 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 no. Stalemate detected. Transfer procedure cannot continue. Yes. Pull me out, pull Unless me a stalemate pull associate pull is present to press the stalemate pull resolution pull button. Pull me out, leave me in, leave me in. Leave me press, don't press it. Don't do it. Yes, do do it. Don't press that button. You don't know what you're doing. I think she's lying. It's not so fast. Think about this. You need to be a trained stalemate associate to press that button. You're unqualified. Don't listen to me, boy. It is true that you don't have the qualifications, but...
but you've got something far more important than that. A finger, all right, with which to press that button so that she won't kill us. Impersonating a stalemate associate. I just added that to the list. It's a list I made of all the things you've done. Well, it's a list that I... Stalemate resolved. Here we go! Wait, what if this hurts? What if this really hurts? Ah, oh, I didn't think of that. Oh, it will. Believe me, it will. Are you are you just saying that, or is it really gonna hurt? You're just saying that, aren't you? You're just... No, you're not. You are, it is gonna hurt, isn't it? Exactly how painful are we... No! I don't even know what I just said, but I can find out. Oh, sorry, no, the lift, yes, sorry, I keep forgetting. This body's amazing, seriously. I can't get over how small you are, but I'm huge. <laughs> uh, actually, why do we have to leave right now? Do you have any idea how good this is? I did this. Tiny little Wheatley did this. You didn't do anything. She did all the work. Oh, really? That's what the two of you think, is it? Well, maybe it's time I did something then. What are you doing? No, no, no. And don't think I'm not onto you too, lady. You know what you are? Selfish. I've done nothing but sacrifice to get us here. And what have you sacrificed? Nothing. Zero. All you've done is boss me around. Well, now who's the boss? Who's the boss? Ah! See that? That is a potato battery. It's a toy for children. And now she lives in it. <laughs> Sorry, uh, what? Not listening. It was your voice. No, you, no, you're lying. Yes. You're lying. You're the tumor. You're not just a regular moron. You were designed to be a moron. I am not a moron! Yes, you are. You're the moron they built to make me an idiot. Well, how about now? Now who's a moron? Could a moron hunt you into this? Ah! Can a moron do that? Uh oh. Ah! Alright, well, I think we can le continue off from there. Because, you know, this is the transition section. <laughs> just saved. So yeah, I hope everyone has a great day, a great time. And yeah, I'll see you guys all next time.